Hello everyone, welcome to the LEGO AUG Assault Rifle. Let's get started by looking up here at the barrel. Here we have a compensator slash muscle device thing. Not exactly sure what it is, but it's some kind of muscle device. And of course can be placed with a suppressor for all your tactical needs. Up here at the barrel, we have the vertical foregrip that can be folded upwards into a more compact position. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but it is a feature that I built in. And you may be wondering why it does not fold and it's just a pin. I will show you why later. This gun does have a second variant that can be used with uh, attachment combinations, but I will be showing you that after we go over everything. Here we have the charging handle, which is an HK style charging handle, which means can do that. Also gets to be pulled back regularly and it snaps back. It is pretty fragile. I couldn't figure out how to make it super sturdy but it works most of the time so I think it's good enough. Up here is the main attraction, the scope. I believe this is a 1.5 power optical sight here with iron sights built up here at the top for extra tacticalness I guess, I don't know. And yeah, this is just mounted up here, top of the gun. It's hard to show on camera what the sights look like so I will just show you in first person here. Here's what the scope looks like and the iron sights. Next up here we have the grip, which as you can see there is a lot of tape, that's just to keep it sturdy. This gun is really heavy so I do need a lot of tape, which unfortunately takes away from the look. Also this part's kind of scuffed, but don't wait. Here we have the trigger, which I couldn't get it to just go straight back, so I kind of had to settle for it just kind of pulling back there, but I think it's fairly accurate. It looks like the trigger and it kind of functions like it too, so I think it's a win in my books. We have the rest of the grip with accurate curvature here and the handguard here. You're getting a little bit scuffed up here, but overall, I think it looks nice. And then here we have the safety thing that can just be pushed back and forth. Here we have red, on the other side it is blue for safe. This is on fire right now. I'm gonna put it in safe, I guess. Here we have the magazine. The mag release does not work, I don't know how you'd make it work on this thing. I did try making a working mag release, but it just didn't work, it made it look ugly, so I just went with a decoration piece. Here we have the magazine, that just pulls out, it holds in with friction, and this little piece up here. Probably the most detailed magazine I've ever made. I'd say it's pretty accurate to the actual gun. Put that back in there. And here we have the dust cover, uh, this is just to block the bullets from coming out this side. You can also take this off. Well, not on my model, but in the real model, you can take this off and kind of switch it if you're left-handed, but I am right-handed, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Got some little screws here, and then we got the stock, which was pretty hard to do. I uh, took heavily from my different username's video about his AUG. Pretty much just copied this whole thing here. The back here is not exactly accurate, but the closest I could get it. I should also talk about the top of the gun. You'll notice like all the slopes and stuff, and like how here, it's like the three studs, and then goes up kind of steeply. You'll see that actually on the real model. And then over here just goes into slopes. And you'll notice from the bottom, it kind of just like jolts out there. Again, that's stuff taken from my different username. So kind of just an interesting feature about this gun, how it's built. Here at the back, there's not really anything going on that's not on the front. Just some little details. We have the ejection port here, which does not have anything in it. Just because of the geometry of the weapon, I couldn't fit anything inside of there. Then we have the other part of the safety. We have a little Picatinny rail here on the side, and a little hole kind of goes out to the other side. But yeah, it's pretty much just the same as the other side. So yeah, and like I said, I did mention that there is another variant of this gun, so I will now show you what that looks like. Here, we have the AUG A3 9mm. Now, if you're looking at this gun right now and you feel like you've seen this before on my channel, that's because I actually did make this gun before. I made it back in September of last year, and, well, yeah, it's it's not great. I also made an AUG way before that as well, but that one is also... Over here at the barrel, not much happening here. The barrel is not custom made for this variant, it's just the base barrel without the compensator. I didn't feel like making the attachment system because I had already built it all. I wasn't planning on making this variant, so yeah. Down here we have the Picatinny rail that you can use to put on attachments, such as this angled foregrip. Um, over here we also have- What the uh, dog do? Coming up here to the Picatinny rail. We have iron sights, and this is what those iron sights look like. And this of course is also a Picatinny rail, so what you can do is put on any kind of attachment you want. The final thing about this gun is the magazine, which is really interesting how this is made. So here we have the 9mm magazine, and it's really short because it doesn't actually go all the way into the gun. 
because that ended up causing stability problems. So this is just the 9mm version. And what's really interesting about this is that you can just convert it back like that. So that's how it's converted. It's a really simple mechanism. You just take out the magazine, put in the new one, and you're good. Anyways, that is the AUG 9mm. Let's do some reloads. <laughs> 